Hello. Here we are given lot of quadratic equations. We need to determine number of real zeros by inspection and provide justification. Okay. Now these equations are in different forms. Like this is in standard form, this is in vertex form. And we need to understand how to find a logic so that we can figure out whether we have one x intercept, two x intercepts or none. Okay. Let's go through the very first one. The first one is 2x squared plus 7x minus 5. Now what is the y intercept? The y intercept is minus 5. Correct? So if the y intercept is minus 5, let's kind of do our thinking here. Right? y intercept is minus 5, that means somewhere here, right? And 2 means it is opening upwards. So if the graph is anyway going kind of like this, right? So it will cross at two points. Do you see that? So that's the kind of justification we have to give for all, right? Now here, therefore, we can say that this graph should intersect x-axis at two points. Therefore, we have two real solutions, okay? Uh, correct? Now let's go to next one. Now here, we see that the vertex is given to us, and vertex is at minus x minus 2 whole square minus 1 therefore the vertex is at the point is 2 and minus 1 that means if we have a graph 2 and minus 1 so that means somewhere below the x-axis and minus indicates that the graph will go down right if so then we can't expect any real x-intercept and therefore we don't have any real solution so no real solution Correct. The next one is also in the vertex form. Now here, what is the vertex? The vertex is at minus 1 and 5. Minus 1 is on this side and 5 is plus somewhere here you can say, okay. And minus 2 means the graph will open downwards. And if the graph opens downwards, then it should go and cut it two places. Correct. So we have two real solutions. Is that okay? Correct. Now let's see the next one. 3x squared minus x plus 2 equals to 0. Now here it's very difficult to find a logic but what we observe is the b value is very low. It's just 1. So you can say b squared minus 4ac is what? b squared minus 4ac, right? b is just minus 1. So it's minus 1 square minus 4 times AC is 3 times 2, right? So it clearly indicates that this is 1 minus a big number. Is it okay? Of 24 in this case, which is negative. Is it okay? Minus 23. We need not do all the calculations, but really indication that discriminant is negative. Therefore, anything under the square root, if that is negative, then what do you expect? None. Is it okay? Yes. Now, how about the next one? It is here in this form, and this is vertex is where? Vertex is x equals to 5 and 0. That means, that means what? And it's going up, right? So basically it means that at 5, your parabola is going up, kind of like this. This point is 5, correct? So there is one real solution. Is it okay? And how about this? Well, we need to really write it in a different way to make it a quadratic function, correct? So let me reorganize thing. Let me bring them on the left side. In that case, let's, let's have a better look at this, okay? Let me repeat this one. Here, in this equation, we have vertex at 5 and 0, correct? So that is 5 and 0, and it is going up. That means we have one real solution, correct? Now, in this particular case, we need to reorganize, right? So, let's reorganize and see what happens. 9x squared minus 20x, and I'll bring this 10 this side, so it goes minus 10x plus 25, correct? Equals to 0. And then we get 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 equals to 0. 
and this seems to be a perfect square this is 3x whole square this is 5 square and 2 times 3 times 5 2 times 3 times 5 is 30 so it makes sense right so I can write this as 3x this is minus sign from here and 5 whole square equals to 0 now in this particular case we see two both the zeros are at one point therefore there is only one real solution is that okay that means one real solution is that okay so th these are the different ways of figuring out how to find the number of real solutions here right now I have not given intercept form because number of intercepts will clearly indicate what number of real solutions are but let me add one or two for you here for example I could write here x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals to 0 so there are two real solutions right both could be zeros for this it will be two real solutions is that okay and if I write just x times x plus 5 for example equals to 0 again two real solutions why 2 in this case x equals to 0 is 1 and x equals to minus 5 is the other one correct in fact that form is quite easy to figure out therefore like that but there is there are a few like they, you can consider this to be factored form right both at one point correct anyway I think you got good idea of how to figure out from the equation about the number of real solutions correct okay thank you